Hey guys, it's Brandon Smelly from EliteFTS.com and I'm bringing you a how-to video on how to do a single leg deadlift. Um, this gets misconstrued a lot with a lot of different exercises and maybe someone else has a different name for this, this is what I call a single leg deadlift this time, I've always learned it. Um, people usually tend to confuse it with single leg RDL, which is more of a position here with an opposite leg and arm and you're usually hinging back the weights out in front of you. Here with a single leg deadlift, the dumbbell or implement or whatever you're using is on the same leg and same arm. And you have to still have the hinging pattern, but you've also got a typical um, squat pattern with it. Um, so it's more like a trap bar deadlift than a tradi traditional deadlift. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your implement, you're going to um, put it up on blocks, plates, um, just depending on what you're using. And you're going to try to get it to a height to where you're not going to have to actually lean over for the dumbbell. You can still hip hinge back and grab the dumbbell. So here I've got my dumbbell up on a uh, two different blocks, they each about three and a half inches high or so. Um, so we're looking at about seven or eight inches. You're going to stand on the same leg, and what you're going to do is you're going to push your hip back, load that glute and hamstring up, keeping your chest up, continue to reach back the entire time. So as you're pushing back, chest is up and you're going to go down to whatever implement you're grabbing and grab it. So this is about a perfect height for me, but I'm also pretty short. So I'm going to brace my abs and my obliques over here. Big breath is if you normally do it with the deadlift. Pick and pull. The leg that comes up can like toe tap or touch. Just enough so you can stay balanced, but you want to feel that gluten hamstring contract. And then you're going to go back down. Let the weight come to a complete stop, and then re-pick. Alright, so after you do that, you might be thinking, well, what's the difference between that and an RDL? So, an RDL, the dumbbell implement's going to be, if I'm going to use, if I'm going to still work the same leg, the implement's going to be in my right hand, and, also, and I'm going to use my left leg. Still going to hinge, keeping my back nice and flat, chest up, really rotating around my hips with a soft knee, and coming down, so I feel a nice pull and then back up. So that's the difference between single leg deadlift and RDL. The deadlift actually has a dead stop. It's got more of a trap bar uh, movement to it. Single leg RDL actually has an RDL movement that you're using opposite leg and arm. You can still use same arm, same leg. Uh, that's just what's typically the norm whenever you perform it. Um, so you can either, you can actually list whether you do contralateral or ipsilateral, it doesn't really matter. Um, most of my stuff works with the same hand, same leg on single leg deadlift and opposite leg hand RDL. And as I said, you can you can use a kettlebell or whatever. So this is a higher pick. So here I'd be able to actually load up more and pull. But the key thing is still to keep nice and tight and upright and big breath and pull. You should be good to go.